guys Dan here and today I got a new series starting um, that's going to be based around just doing different photo effects and showing you how I did them the sends I used and you know hopefully you'll learn some techniques from it and all that good stuff so the first one in this series is going to be kind of like a, a summary effect um, it's based off one that's called summer fashion so I'll probably end up just titling it a summer fashion uh, photo effect uh, which I found just looking on YouTube for tutorials and stuff and I kind of took that tutorial um, and just you know added to it and then I came up with this really nice uh, effect which I'm going to show you now so I have four images here I've got this one that one and that one and this is just to kind of give you an example of what the effect does to the image and what kind of images work best so you kind of, I kind of got these like really bright summary images here especially that one and then we've got kind of like these more dull uh, dollar images but you know it just kind of sh gives you a little bit of um, a little bit of a, an insight of you know what actually works well with this kind of effect so the effect boom let's put it on so this is the original image I actually used to create the effect which is kind of weird because it, although it does look nice on this um, it's not made for this type of fur it's made for like the more summary the top, the top two there um, you know, we got it on the Mac iPad here. I don't like on this one at all. Um, it's, it's too much of a yellow tint going on for my liking for this kind of image. But then when we get to these top two, this one looks really cool. Um, it kind of adds the photos kind of got this like glow coming off these rails anyway, but kind of adds to it. And then you kind of get this like dreamy look. Looks pretty cool. And then my favorite one, the uh, this one, the dandelions. Are they dandelions? I don't remember. I'm tired. Uh, <laughs> But yeah, so, and I'll show you again, I'll click it, the effect on and off, so you can kind of see what's going on here. So as you can see this one, it just kind of adds a really nice glow of the whole image. So this one looks way better without it, personally, but obviously it's all down to personal preference, isn't it? Uh, these kind of things. And this one, it looks fine as well. So, how I did it, and I'm going to show you on this image. Um, this is something I want people to kind of write in the comments um, how to show you uh, these effects because obviously I can show you the exact values here which I'm going to do for this tutorial I'm just going to show you exactly what I have but some people might or everyone might prefer if I actually you know created a new document and went through all these steps again um, unlike in this tutorial and unless obviously based on the feedback um, I'm just going to show you um, obviously what I've got and what the settings are and why I choose, chose them um, so you know kind of say in the comments um, if you don't like this kind of setup and you prefer me to you know go to a new document and go alright the first thing I added was hue and saturation and then I actually do the settings I wouldn't just copy in or just show you what's going on but yeah so that's something to put in the comments please um, so what have we got here so we've got two like f color fills that are set to different blending modes we've got two curves adjustments and we've got a hue and saturation so we're just going to turn these all off I'm going to basically just stack them up as I go through and tell you what they're doing why they're there type thing um, so we've got a hue and saturation this one basically just uh, increases the saturation a little bit and the lightness of the image you could probably do this with the exposure as well um, but I kept it simple this was something that was from the tutorial I first watched that they uh, based it around so I kind of kept the the main steps in that tutorial and then just added I think the only thing I added really was these curves adjustments and um, the the opacity fills of these two and they're slightly different colors they're the same like they used a purple and a yellow I used a purple and a yellow but they're not exact uh, colors but yeah so we got the shoe saturation so basically if we put this on here you notice it just lightens the whole image and gives it quite a lot of, a lot more saturation as as it would as that is exactly what it says it's doing <laughs> um, so then I added a curves adjustment that's set to luminosity. Um, if you've ever watched any of my other tutorials where I've had curves adjustments, you'll notice I split them up into two. One being set to luminosity and one being set to color, but in this case it's not. Um, I'll explain that in a minute. But uh, Basically luminosity just means it only affects the lightness and darkness of the image. And then if it's set to color, it'll only affect the color and all them values that are based around the color. So if we just turn this one on, this one kind of adds all the contrast back into the image. Um, so we go put this one up <clears throat> and I always do this with my curves I give it this subtle S um, 
So obviously this top bit brightens and this bottom bit darkens. So I give it like this set less and then I pull this bottom thing up because if we have it like this, you know, it's when I pull up, it kind of loses its contrast ever so slightly because it I think what it does is it changes how dark something can be on this image. So something that would normally be right like, you know, pure black is actually gonna be kind of like a light grey or you know kind of gives it kind of more exposure so I guess you could do this with the exposure or the lightness and hue and saturation but I do it with the curves it normally looks better because it only affects then like the darkness of the exposure of dark areas not the whole image so otherwise it would get way too overexposed especially this image that already has like a the sun and all that uh, in the sky and stuff so that's why that is set to that now curves too this one's um, a really simple one as well we turn this on you'll notice it just it just completely wipes the red out of the image pretty much and that is exactly what it's doing if we go to the red tab um, this is the only thing that's been changed here is you notice if I put this back to normal and I just pull it out slowly yeah that's pretty much going on there um, I wanted kind of like a kind of like a blue tint, I always go for a blue tint, I don't know what it is but then when you add these two new next effects so that was all I did there, that's set to normal normally I'd set that to colour but I didn't even realise when I was making the thing um, but I actually like it set to normal so <coughs> we'll keep it there basically we've got two fill colours, one's purple and one is yellow uh, the purple uh, number if you want the exact colour is CC00FF and the kind of the yellowy orange is uh, FFCC00 and that's weird how them two numbers are almost identical they're just the other way around no idea um, <laughs> so basically the purple is going to be set to lighten if we just put that on now um, and the opacity is going to be 50 and the fill is going to be 25 percent and then we're going to have this yellow orange set to multiply and we're going to have that 50 25 as well and then these two on their own just add kind of the, this this really nice tint to the whole image um, this yellow one kind of really do you probably get away with not using the yellow one um, for this image anyway like I said depend on the image it's all going to depend on the first image you use um, all these settings but if I had to say, if I was just using this image, I'd take the yellow one off, but it still looks really nice with the yellow one. Um, let's have a look with this one. It looks alright with the yellow one on this one, but once again, it, it looks really nice with it off as well. <laughs> this yellow gives it kind of like a vintage tint to it, so you kind of get more of a vintage look. Obviously, I'd take it off this one, and it's way too purple, and it's way too... <laughs> Yeah, I pretty much wouldn't use anything for this one. Uh, it really does not work. Um, and then this one I actually liked with all of them on, to be honest with you. So, like I said, if you leave a comment in the description below about um, how I should actually go about you know, showing these, should I go through them all one by one, or should I actually go, th you know, recreate the, the effect again and tell you? Uh, you get the same information, but some a lot of you, if the majority of you prefer the information in a certain way then I'll do it more like that but it was just kind of a thought when I was you know uh, doing my practice practice video runs basically when I uh, do videos and I mess up but yeah <laughs> so that's it guys I hope you enjoyed this one I'm gonna leave this up because this one looks the best and yeah um, leave a like if you liked the video uh, dislike if you disliked it hopefully not and obviously leave a comment about how you'd like uh, me to actually do these tutorials and any other general questions or feedback is always appreciated I try to reply to everything and that's it guys I will see you in the next tutorial peace